Bruh. Good morning, fellow mathematicians. Welcome back to another video. I just arrived at home and I don't know if this right here is what I think it is. We are going to find it out in a second. Stay tuned. <laughs> if this right here isn't what I think it is, then this video is being recorded for nothing. So, wish me good luck. <laughs> I've got myself knife for this and we are going to open it up. Okay, we are going to open stuff up. It's going to be epic, it's going to be absolutely epic, okay. Bloody epic. Trust me on this. It is what I think it is. And I hope it's still in good shape. So, can you read this? Hagoromo. Ah. Hagoromo full touch this. I've got my hands on Hagoromo chalk. And oh, it's it's absolutely epic. <laughs> I'm going to try out the chalk and I hope it's going to be good. Rumor has it that mathematicians never ever um, wrote a false proof using this chalk, so um, I hope that's the case. See you in a minute, writing some um, stuff out. <laughs> Here goes my sons and daughters. Hagoromo Chalk. Here it is. And we are going to give it a shot. Timo already came into the room. He tried it out even before me. And what he did was... Um, yeah. <laughs> He was trying to put this piece of chalk back into this pen that came with the chalk box and the colored chalk right here and yeah he immediately broke one of the really expensive chalk things right here um, but it's okay so we can already say that it's not good to let this fall from a height of like I don't know one and a half meters but it only broke into two parts so that's already good. If I take my regular chalk, it's going to break into like 10 parts. So that's already good. So we're going to take a look at a few things. So at first, the, the amount of stuff I got from this delivery was pretty good. And I got all the stuff from eBay 7 Okay, maybe you're going to find the link in the description. I paid 60 bucks for two of those packages. And yeah, I got those chalk boxes, this pen, the chalk in general, 275 pieces, two times 75 pieces and also 10 of those colored chalks right here. So let's take a look at the smell of the Hagoromo chalk. Oh, it actually, it has kind of a weird smell to it. I didn't expect it to smell weird or anything. Um, I mean, it, it kind of smells like wax. Is this the case for the regular chalk? No, this smells like nothing. I suspect if you take a look at the Hagoromo chalk right here, maybe you can see it, let me take a look. There's like a little cover right here, so something's a bit shiny right here and it's covered in some kind of wax or something, I don't know, such that you really don't um, yeah, get the chalk on your fingers. So even though I'm touching here, where it's shiny, you are not going to get chalk on your fingers. So that's one thing that's really good. And you are going to get this for all pieces of chalk right here. For example, for the green chalk, maybe you can see the difference. Yeah, you can definitely see it. So that's something really cool. Now let me see how this stuff tastes. Not too good. You probably shouldn't eat it, but it shouldn't be toxic. In the description at eBay7 it said that it's non-toxic. Also at eBay7 it is said that if you write on the chalkboard it's not going to um, and if you erase it you are not going to get a lot of dust. So let me see we are now going to uh, the, the taste of this stuff. Disgusting. We're now going to do the the, the writing test right here, the, the most important thing, that's a first timer for me. Let's see how this turns out. Okay. Ah. 
I'm not certain what I should say about that. I mean, it does write on the chalkboard. It does what it has to do. But is there a huge difference? Let me see if there is kind of a difference at so in, in some way. So um, it goes kind of smoothly over the board. OK, that right here is a rocket. What happens if? OK, so we are going to let the rocket start right here. Um, there is a difference between, between those two. This one by Hagoromo slides across the board a bit more smoothly, I would say. This regular char kind of scratches across the board, so I'm feeling some kind of resistance, you could say. It's just a slight difference, but it's there. It's, it's there. It feels like you are not really writing on something solid. It feels like you are writing on something that kind of um, gives a bit of space, so like writing on jelly, you could say. It's, it's weird, it's, it's weird, so um, it's a different feeling. And in comparison to <laughs> this piece of shit right here, oh, <laughs> the, the sound of that here, this right here is actually top notch, so um, I would say that's Gucci. And one, one thing I want to see is if I can write a limit in the right way, okay, using this chalk. I've never done this before. So if you take a look, if I take a regular piece of chalk and I want to write a limit, oh good, I, I just can, <laughs> doesn't work out, but if I use this right here, Gucci, pretty fucking Gucci. Do you want to see even more limits, my boys and girls? Maybe some colorful limits right here? No, that's work out. Um, I, I have to say, when you start writing, it still feels kind of scratchy on the surface, just like with the regular chalk. But the more you write, just like with this one, I'm having a little um, peak up here, a little tip, a little tip you could say, the better we are able to write. Okay, oh, so so many nice looking limits. I, I can't believe that, that this actually works out. Okay, or maybe you have heard it, it sounded kind of scratchy. Itchy and scratchy? Oh yeah, this one too. But the more you write, the better it works out. I've never written such nice limits before. This has been the Hagoromo talk. I'm going to record a whole video using the Hagoromo talk exactly about this thing right here, okay, this is one of the best things I've ever calculated in my whole bloody life. So I hope you are going to wait for this video. It's going to come out on Friday or Sunday. One of those two. Okay, but this thing right here is just, I, I can't say in words how fucking cool this thing right here is, okay? And after I'm done recording this thing right here, I'm going to give you a few more ex um, expressions about um, yeah how I felt using this chalk right here. Also, this thing right here is the uh, gayest shit ever. Okay, only gay people are using this, but since I have it now, I'm going to use it. Meaning, I'm gay from this point onwards. Um, also, the only cool thing about that is this right here. It has a magnet built in, so so that's something that's really cool. But but overall, you can just write with it regularly, okay? Oh yeah, one one thing I don't want to forget is how is it when I erase the Hagoromo chalk, okay? Um, goodbye, rocket. That is actually pretty good. Okay. This comes as a bit of a surprise to me. There's seriously nearly no dust right here. You can erase it from the board pretty easily, but there's no chalk dust um, coming off. So that's, that's really good. Um, I give this a feature thumb up because in normal case I would be here like a cokehead because the chalk dust is killing my nose in the normal case. I'm going to record this video now and I'm going to see you in a few seconds. Bruh. I totally forgot to...
<laughs> say a few words about the child after recording. So, um, one little thing. So, the chalk in itself is pretty okay. I'm not using the lavalier, lavalier microphone right now. I'm terribly sorry. So, the chalk in itself is pretty good. Um, you do not see too much of a difference, but once you are used to writing with it, it kind of slides the board across a bit better than the normal chalk. So, if you are satisfied with your regular chalk, that's totally fine. Do not go and purchase this chalk because it's not too much of a difference. Um, it's pretty good. It's not too dusty. It's completely fine. But you really don't have to spend 60 bucks on two packages of chalk. It was just for a meme and because people asked if I do also hoard Hagoromo chalk. And at the moment I do indeed hoard Hagoromo chalk just because I have two packages now at home. If you enjoyed this video, please like, subscribe, recommend the channel. If you like, please share this video everywhere such that I can get the money back I spend on this chalk. <laughs> I'm a poor bitch boy. I'm terribly sorry. So um, yeah, um, show this to your family, to your teacher. And if you really like your teacher, give them a piece of Hagoromo chalk. If you hate them, don't do so. Thank you guys, appreciate you. Ciao.